morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. All right, well, we are going to make a fun card today, a Z fold card. And so we are using, look at how fun this is. You know me, I love sparkles. And so this is a great card to showcase some sparkles. So we're gonna use the Layers of Beauty stamp set. Maybe one of my favorite stamp sets in this new catalog because it is so versatile and has so many fun components. So we've got the stamp set, we've got the dies, and then we have these fun masks, Layers of Beauty masks. So we're gonna use those today. And so these are actually what are going to help us color in our big floral image here. So I'm so excited to show you this because I really love how the look of this, I mean, just look at the detail when we use those masks, the detail of the coloring of those flowers. And it's so super easy. So let's get started. Let me put this to the side and the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my trimmer here and we are going to cut our card base so I cut most of our pre-cut most of our pieces for today um, but remember if you are subscribed to my weekly free buzz bulletin it's just an email that uh, I send out, it's got a PDF every single week of our project with all the steps, all of the dimensions, all of that in a printable PDF uh, that you can use. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our eight and a half by 11 paper and we are going to cut it. I had it right the first time. <laughs> we're gonna cut it down at that four and a quarter. So we're just halving our paper. And then here is where we're gonna do some scoring. So we're gonna first score at the halfway point. So we're gonna go ahead and score there. And then we're gonna score again at half of the half point so that we can create this fun Z fold. So, um, you can see there we've got our two score lines. So we are done now with our trimmer. I'm gonna bring in my bone folder and we are just going to fold this in half first, burnish that piece. And then this other piece, we're gonna create that Z fold by just folding that right back and burnishing that. So now you can see we have this Z fold that opens. Super fun, right? Okay, so you know I love bling and this card is sure full of sparkle and bling. So for that, we are gonna use our brand new in color glimmer paper. So I know the camera doesn't always pick up the sparkle and shine of this, but I love this glimmer paper. It uh, comes in all of the five colors. You can see in here the five new in colors. And I love glimmer paper. It's kind of like glitter paper, but it doesn't come off. So it's not like messy all over your craft room, right? So that's fun. And I love, love, love the new colors. I mean, how pretty would this be for Christmas? Summer Splash, probably my favorite of the new in colors. We've got our pretty in pink, our peach pie, and what we'll be using today is our petunia pop. So love, love, love those. So I've already pre-cut those pieces. You're gonna need three of them. Remember, all those dimensions are going to be in our weekly free PDF. You can also find it on my blog at stampinqueenbee.com. And every Thursday, I email those out to our Buzz Bulletin subscribers. So we're just gonna add some liquid adhesive here, putting our first piece, which is that inside layer, just right along the back. Like to hold it there a second, so make sure it sticks, right? 
And then we've got our two other panel pieces that we are just gonna put right, always make sure they're lined up here and here, all the way across. So we've got that. And then our last one, we we'll just go ahead and adhere that right to this front panel. And kind of hold those there a second. And then now we've created this beautiful opening for our card, right? Isn't that fun? Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. Let that dry. And while we do that, we're going to bring in a piece of basic white and we are going to ink up our big image here. So we'll just go ahead and open that right up. We're gonna use our Memento Black ink and whenever an image is big, like this image is, this big image, right, from our stamp set, whenever an image is big like that, I like to ink it upside down because it's really cumbersome, right, to like ink it up this way. So I like to ink it upside down, so I just lay my stamp on its back, and we're just gonna ink this up all over our image. I just like to keep going over it until I see that it's kind of like got ink everywhere on, everywhere on there, right? Okay, now we're gonna take it and we're gonna flip it over, press it down. I like to just kind of hold it there, make sure, especially on these bigger images, that you kind of push in all those areas. Hey Rose, good morning. I can't always see the comments, so <laughs> I just thought you're his girlfriend. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so now we'll pull that off, and we've got our image here. And then what I like to do is die cut it at this point. So uh, here's our die cut. So you would just take this, line it right up. You can use a post-it or some washi tape to hold that in place. We'll run it right through our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, which is our die cutting machine. It'll cut that right out. And magic of live, <laughs> so I already die cut that for us to save us a, a step, right? So I will use that image that I stamped. You know, I love to, in my stamp case, keep a little envelope of uh, extra images or images that I die cut. So then if I want to make a card, sometimes I already have the image done, right? If I do a couple extra. So we've got our image here. So now we get to use our fun masks to color our image. So I'm just gonna bring in some post-it tape. You can use all kinds of things, washi, whatever. What's fun about these masks is it might not pick it up on the screen. However, there are numbers, trying to see if it'll pick it up on the screen, right in the top, maybe you can see that. There's a number one, right? So there's five uh, masks, that's what they call them. We would probably think of them as like a stencil. That's what they are, right? So we're gonna just start with number one. And how I like to easily line these is a couple of ways. So number one, I bring in a little pencil or something. And number two, I'm gonna take my image here on this first, in, first uh, mask and I'm gonna line it up behind so that it matches up. So once you have that, that's why I like to die cut it first. So once you have it, I kinda do it on the big one here. Once you have that lined up, then we're going to stick that down. Well, it's not stuck yet, but we're gonna set it down. <laughs> and again, make sure it didn't shift when we um, set it down. And then I'm gonna take post-it tape, washi tape, whatever you want to use here. And we're just gonna do one on like each side here, okay? 
So we've got that, it's all lined up. You can see it, right? It lines up there, we stamp, uh, stuck that down. And then I'm gonna take my pencil here and you'll see there is a little cutout on our masks. Press too hard. There's like a little V cutout. So let me show you on the next one, right? So you can see that little V cutout. So I just like to make a little pencil mark on my grid paper because now when I go to do my next one, I can just line that up with my pencil mark. Easy peasy, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in some of these new in colors. So today we're gonna use Petunia Pop and Shy Shamrock to create this image. And you can see there's uh, definition and detail, right, in both of the colors, but we're only using one color. So you could use, you know, multiple different purples or pinks or whatever color you're using for the flowers, or you could just use one and build on that color and get all of that detail. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start with our Petunia Pop. So we'll open up our ink pad. I am using the mini blending brush. So there's a set of three of those. There are large ones and there are mini ones. I prefer the mini ones. I think they're a little bit easier to work with, but both will work for this. And then I just label mine with the color so that I know and I don't mix and match them, right? So we're just gonna get a little bit of ink from our ink pad right onto our brush here. And then in circular motion, I like to start not on the image, but on the stencil so you don't get any like weird mark. So I kind of start there and then circular motion, we're just gonna lightly go everywhere that there's an opening on our mask here. You don't wanna go too dark or press too hard at this point because we're just getting the first light coloring, okay? So now we're gonna lift our uh, mask here. I like to leave my, I kind of put my finger here, you see, so that it doesn't move. We'll take our number one mask and set that to the side. We'll bring in number two here and remember, just gonna line it up with our mark here. And then I always just kind of look to make sure that it is truly lined up. And then we're just gonna put our post-it tape, washi tape, whatever, right down again. Then the same thing, we're gonna use the same color here, remember. You could do multiple colors, but with this one, we're just gonna build on the same color. I like to hold my stencil just so that uh, it doesn't move all around and then the same thing start right off the stencil mask and Now we're just gonna build again in all those areas Not pressing too too hard. I like to do circular motion. So you get kind of that even um, Blending and then number two is done. How easy is this right? Okay, so then we're gonna put this to the side so I don't stick my hand in it we're gonna lift from the corner here, holding our image, and look with the second color. You can already see that definition detail starting, right? Okay, so then we're gonna come in with our next one. The same thing, we're just gonna line that up, make sure that it's all where we want it. We're gonna take our same color again, and we're gonna do it one more time. And every time you do this, it's gonna come out tiny bit different because you know, you're pressing harder or lighter, or if you're using multiple colors or different colors. At the end, I'm gonna show you some uh, different color options that I created using the same card. Okay, I think I got all the areas there. And so now same thing, we're gonna lift it again. We've got two more times. So how fun is that? So beautiful, right? So now we're gonna come in and do the leaves. So we're gonna bring in our number four mask. 
And you don't have to be an artist for this. That's what kind of makes this technique cool is that Stampin' Up! has created this with these masks, right? They've created this for us. So we don't have to guess where everything goes. All we have to do is line this up easy peasy. And then we have our beautiful colored image, right? Okay, so now we've got Shy Shamrock. Same thing, mini brush, circular motion. We've got this lined up. So um, we're gonna go lightly first because we're just kind of giving our leaves here a light overall coloring. So we're not pressing too hard on any of those. I'm just making sure that they all get some color, right? And then same thing, we're gonna lift this up one more time. Now our leaves are beautifully colored. And we'll bring in our last, our last mask here for the detailing in our leaves. Got our tape, a little bit more ink. And the beauty of these blending brushes is the more times that you use them with a color, the better they're gonna blend and the better they're gonna work, right? So we'll hold our mask. Now we're just gonna go in, pressing a bit harder, not too hard, circular motion, kind of all around. And we're gonna get this beautiful detailing in our leaves here. Okay, put that aside. Let's close up our pad here so I don't stick my I don't stick my hand right in there. We're gonna lift this up the very last time. Put that aside and now look at our beautiful image. Isn't that fun? And so you'll see they are a little bit different. As it dries, it's gonna get a tiny bit lighter, but every time you do this, it's just gonna look like a very unique colored image. Okay, so we'll set that aside. We're gonna bring back in our Z Fold card base that we created in the beginning. And now we're gonna tie our ribbon. So I love this new ribbon. I'm gonna show you all the fun in colors with this new ribbon. This is our bordered ribbon. And I just keep mine with a, a sewing pin to kind of keep all the loose strings. Drives me crazy, right? <laughs> I keep mine in a drawer and when they're, all the strings are all over the place. Oh man, so I just put a little pin in them and we're gonna use the Petunia Pop today, but you could use any of our colors. I love this ribbon because it is called a bordered ribbon. And so what's fun about it is it has this beautiful detail, this sewn detail, right, along that ribbon. So I love that. Okay, so we're gonna leave this on the roll. We're gonna uh, flip it around here and we're just kind of tucking it behind this front panel. And then we are just gonna tie it into a bow. Okay, we're just gonna tie this right into a bow. Make sure I have enough here. I like to leave it on the roll so that I don't waste any. Just like I am tying my shoes, I'm gonna tie a bow here. And then you just kind of play with it and adjust it to however short or long that you want those tails. Use my scissors. I put a charm on them so I know these are my ribbon scissors and trim that right off. And that's easy, right? That's all we've done so far. Okay. And I just kind of adjust this so it's in the middle here. And see, our card still opens and we've got that pretty bow, right? And now we're gonna take our image that we colored that's already die cut since we did that in the beginning and we're gonna add some dimensionals. Let me grab those. So whenever they're new, I kind of go like that so you can then see, right? And so, what I'm gonna do for this is, cause I don't wanna put dimensionals on the whole thing cause then it will stick our card all together, right? So we don't want that. 
So I'm just gonna stick dimensionals on this image here and on the left side of this image here. So how I like to do that is just kind of flip it down and now I kind of know what's gonna hit where. And then I'll just stick my dimensionals in those spots that I know will be covered here on this panel, right? All right, so we're gonna start there. And I say that because once it's on, then we can add a couple more closer if we need to. So we just peel the backings off of those. This card is very wowy, but it's very simple, which I love simple and wowy. So now I'm just gonna kind of tuck this in where my bow is, making sure that nothing's sticking off here, 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 or here so that it still fits into my envelope, right? And then we're just gonna stick this down. And there we have our image. So if you think you need a little bit more, like I would probably put one more dimensional here, then kind of at this point is where you can like stick one more. And now it's totally secure, right? But we don't wanna stick them anywhere over here because then it's gonna overhang and it will stick our card closed and we don't want that, right? Okay, so we've got that. Our card is almost done. Isn't it beautiful? So now we've got this inside piece because we can't really write on the glimmer, right? So we have this fun inside piece. We're gonna stamp on that in a second. You could stamp your greeting on there, but it will be totally covered when our card is closed. So I'm gonna use, let's see, some Petunia Pop here. And I am going to stamp this small floral image that's also in this set. And we're just gonna stamp that in the bottom right corner. That would be this image here. I've also done it with this image, it's beautiful. You could do any of your greetings if this was an anniversary card or a grateful for you thank you card. You could put that on here at this point. But for this one, we're just gonna leave it a blank. I often make cards without sentiments in the beginning. And then when I need something, all I have to do is add the sentiment. So it kind of makes it easy. We've got the card done, right? And then you can just add those sentiments for the occasion that you need later on. So we're just gonna center this to the left, but center meaning there's a border around the same even border around it on the left and top and bottom. We'll kind of hold that there on the glimmer. You kind of have to hold your um, gluing for an extra second or two. And then we have our fun card. Isn't that beautiful? And even though it's blingy, it needs a little extra, right? So I'm loving these new in color shimmer gems. It's got all five of those in colors in the Petunia Pop, the Pretty in Pink, the Summer Splash, which you see I've used the most of. Uh, our Shy Shamrock and our Peach Pie. So I am going to close up our card here. I'm gonna use my Take Your Pick tool. So for these with the Petunia Pop, when I put those on, it didn't show very well. So I'm gonna use the other color, which is our Shy Shamrock. And we're just gonna stick these. You can stick them on this part, which doesn't create any more thickness for your card, like when you're sending or anything and maybe one right above here. Easy, right? So now we've got those. You can still see them on our beautiful card. Isn't that fun? So which of these in colors is your favorite? Is it Petunia Pop or the Shy Shamrock that we use today? I told you I would show you some other variations. So I was busy creating with these for you. And so here is the same card, but flip-flopped the colors, right? So we still got our Petunia Pop, but this is the Shy Shamrock as the background. Isn't that pretty, right? And so then I use the Petunia Pop the opposite on those. We've got our beautiful Pretty in Pink. This time I use the Summer Splash with the Pretty in Pink instead of the Shy Shamrock for the leaves. Love that one. And then this is the opposite of that one, using the Summer Splash and still the Pretty in Pink for the flowers. Isn't that one fun? Love those. These blingy cards are just so beautiful. And then this is our Peach Pie. 
Now this one, I actually stamped the image instead of using our Memento ink pad, I used our new basic beige. I love that color. That basic beige is such a good neutral. And so just to kind of lighten it up, if you don't want your floral um, borders to be as intense like with the black, you can do that. And there's with that other flower stamp in the inside. So which is your favorite? Are you a Petunia Pop girl? Or guy, are you a pretty in pink, a shy shamrock, a summer splash, or peach pie? Which is your favorite? I'd love, love, love to know in the comments. And if you don't currently, if you're not currently a demonstrator and you don't currently have these in colors, now is the best time to join because you can get on top of your starter kit. Um, and you know, you don't have to sell it. We're always our best customer, right? Um, but on top of our regular starter kit, where you get to pick out $125 in products, get free shipping, and only pay $99, and then be able to get your demonstrator discount. Right now, they're offering an extra $82 in color bundle on top of that for the same price. So for the same $99, you're gonna get to pick out 125 of your own products, plus you're gonna get the in color bundle. And so it's gonna come with the markers and the, um, the ink pads, it's gonna come with the uh, designer paper, and it's gonna come with a variety pack of this cardstock that we used for all the bases. So it's a great deal to join. That ends May 31st, 2024. So if you're watching this on replay later on, that might not be valid, but it is a super great deal if it is to take advantage of that. And remember, if you're not yet subscribed to our weekly Buzz Bulletin, now is the time because you don't want to miss any of our weekly free printable PDF tutorials. All right, you guys, happy Wednesday, and I will see you next week for another What's She Making Wednesday fun. Bye-bye.